What's going on, my PT peeps and my Walking Dead family? One eye bride back to talk about the Walker Stalker Cruise 2018 and the Robert Kirkman panel, the highlights from the panel. It's not the full panel. I'll have that up in separate videos. It's about 55 minutes here. We broke it down into highlights of some great questions that Robert Kirkman answers. Like, is the Walking Dead ending? Or is this happening? Or that happening? Or this theory? Or some things. Now, the one question that was asked, uh, someone stepped in front of me, so the camera shakes a little bit, and the boat is rocking. So bear with it. The audio is good because it's in doors. Some of the panels we have are outdoors for it, but Robert Kirkman answers a lot of good questions and some great information here. If you can, guys, hit that subscribe button and become a valued member of our channel, our community, and our group here. The PT channel is all about the Walking Dead family, and hopefully you become a part of it. The information for Robert Kirkman here is actually pretty good. Robert Kirkman was actually pretty funny for the whole panel, and I'll have up the whole panels and much more from the crews in upcoming videos, but hopefully become a member of a group and enjoy the video. Thanks for watching, guys. Is there going to be an end game to the Walking Dead universe, uh, whether a comic book or a television show? Will you explain how uh, the show will end? Would you like me to do that now? Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I will. Have in mind uh, how the show will eventually end. Oh yeah, no, I mean it's day it's day four, four on the boat. Is it day four on the boat? Day three? So, yeah, it's day four. I think. It's day four? Yeah, I'm loopy. I'll tell you everything. But. Uh, <laughs> No, I, I, I definitely do have an end game, but every time I mention that, uh, websites uh, run with that and make it sound like it's like very soon, and they get clickbait articles out of it. So I have to say that, you know, even though I do know what the end is and I am working toward it, it is very far off, and it's not something that's going to be happening anytime soon. So there's no cause for worry. Uh, what I'm doing for a good long time. So, so yeah, but I do know exactly what I'm working toward, which is important to me. And I, and I haven't told Charlie Edlar because he'd be like, why hasn't it happened yet? Why, why are you changing your mind? My question to you is the direction of Morgan going over to Fear. Huh? Uh, can you talk a little bit about that and how no. that's going to work? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah. Um, is there going to be like a time jump or? Well, the options, the options are. Uh, that uh, uh, fear would need to experience a time jump so that Morgan could leave uh, Walking Dead and go to fear without you know, it being a paradox. Or uh, there's not a time jump, and uh, the Morgan that we see in Fear the Walking Dead Season 4 is uh, Morgan in between the clear episode and him coming back into the show. So it's going to have to be one of those two things. We haven't uh, said which one it is. Um, I think it's the one you prefer. But we'll see. Uh, uh, and, uh, you know, some people online have figured it out. But, uh, uh, you know, Fear, I think, I think they've announced this. I'll go out on a limb. But uh, Fear Season 4 is actually going to premiere the night of uh, the end of Season 8. So it's going to be a big event with both, uh, both shows kind of ex existing on the same night. So uh, you'll get all the answers you need there. And one more question. Sure. Does anyone, Make it difficult. Does anyone on The Walking Dead have immunity to this apocalypse? No, that would be terrible. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's, not a, that's not a storyline I like. Uh, Maggie seems to be, she's been pregnant for a very long time. Yeah? Uh, yeah? <laughs> maybe, uh, when's she going to start showing? Uh, she'll start showing when people start showing when she's been pregnant for like 80 months. That's, that's how pregnancy works, right? I don't do a lot of research, but uh, uh, okay. But no, I mean it was it was uh, time uh, doesn't really you know move it, it moves linearly, but it doesn't move in in clips that can be tracked. So if Maggie isn't showing, she you know you you may have seen that she's been pregnant for you know two seasons, but those two seasons could take place over two months, okay. despite Chandler Riggs's continued aging. But uh, <laughs> there's got to be some suspension of disbelief. Okay, thank you. Will Madison ever meet Negan? And if they did, what would you think that storyline would be like? Uh, <laughs> could she be Alpha? Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> Maybe just no comment. Uh, I stumped Jeffrey Dean Morgan with that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, were they to encounter each other, uh, Negan would probably kill her. 
uh, or maybe she'd kill Negan. I don't know. There's options. Um, and uh, uh, they'll probably never meet. <laughs> and she's not alpha. <laughs> but maybe I'm lying. I've done that before. <laughs> I love those theories, though. I'm just wondering, what are the chances that Rick has been in a coma the whole time? Zero. Next yeah. question. <laughs> Yeah, that comes up from time to time. Uh, that would be a terrible story. Um, you know, I think that, uh, yeah, that's been done at a lot of things, but uh, he is definitely not in a coma, I promise. Thank you. He'd be like, he'd, be like, he'd wake up and Negan would be the plumber. He'd be like, oh, you were there. It was so weird. Yeah, that'd be awful. <laughs> Judith is a ghost. Yeah, Rick is definitely not in a coma. I have to do that like every two years. I have to come out and be like, he's not in a coma, everybody. And then that makes the press rounds and people are like, whoo. And then two years pass and they're like, is he in a coma? Yeah. Well, Robert, thank you for being here. Thank you for sharing your stories. We really appreciate it. Everyone, let's give Robert a huge hand. Thank you everyone for joining us. Thank you for being a great guest. Thank you for the great questions. This cruise was awesome. Thank you so much for coming. I really appreciate it. Thanks for all the support for all these years. I promise if we make it to season 25, there won't even be so much as one ghost. Not even one. Not even like a weird Lori in a white dress ghost. We're, we're, we're through that period. All right, I've said off-color stuff enough. I'm going to go now. These towels are weird, right? Like, why are these up here? I don't know. Is it to avoid this? Fine. <laughs> I love you all, thank you. Thank you.